fractions lowest terms today let us learn about fractions in the lowest terms a fraction is in its lowest terms or simplest form when its numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1 look at a few examples example 1 4 upon 7 is in its lowest terms let us see how first let us find the factors of 4 and 7 factors of 4 are 1 2 and 4 factors of 7 are 1 and 7 here the common factor of 4 and 7 is 1 thus we say that 4 upon 7 is in its lowest terms example 2 8 upon 12 is not in its lowest terms let us see how factors of 8 are 1 2 4 and 8 factors of 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 here the common factors of 8 and 12 are 1 2 and 4 thus we say that 8 upon 12 is not in its lowest terms kids now let us see how to reduce a fraction to its lowest terms or its simplest form To do this we divide the numerator and the denominator by their highest common factor let us understand it in a better way by solving a few examples example 1 write 5 upon 15 in its lowest terms or simplest form first we find the factors of 5 and 15 factors of 5 are 1 and 5 factors of 15 are 1 3 5 and 15 here the hcf of 5 and 15 is 5 as stated earlier we will divide both the numerator that is 5 and the denominator that is 15 by 5 thus 5 divided by 5 upon 15 divided by 5 is equal to 1 upon 3 therefore the lowest terms or simplest form of 5 upon 15 is 1 upon 3 as 1 and 3 have only 1 as their common factor example 2 write 10 upon 25 in its lowest terms to do this first let us find out the factors of 10 and 25 here the hcf of 10 and 25 is 5 thus 10 divided by 5 upon 25 divided by 5 is equal to 2 upon 5 kids we can also use the repeated division method to find the lowest terms here the final quotients obtained while finding the hcf will be the numerator and the denominator of the simplest form of the given fraction here 2 and 5 are the quotients obtained while finding the hcf thus 2 will be the numerator and 5 will be the denominator therefore 10 upon 25 reduced to its lowest terms gives 2 upon 5 Now let us look at one last example. Write 
upon 64 in its simplest form. Let us use the repeated division method again. So, here we get 1 and 2 as the final quotients. Hence, 1 will be the numerator and 2 will be the denominator. Therefore, 32 upon 64 is 1 upon 2 in its simplest form. Kids, remember, 1, a fraction is in its lowest terms or simplest form when its numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1. 2. To reduce a fraction to its lowest terms or its simplest form, divide the numerator and the denominator by their highest common factor or HCF. 3. The final quotients obtained while finding the HCF will be the numerator and the denominator of the simplest form of the given fraction.